Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for stopping in. I'm glad you're here. It's Curiously Michelle. I signed up to participate in a five of five item Happy Mail swap and challenge. So I gathered five of five different things. So like five pieces of fabric, five tags, five die cuts, whatever category I got. I chose five categories and did five items in that category and sent to my partner. And then I have three partners. My first one has showed up and they sent me five of five things. So that's the Happy Mail Swap. But there's also a challenge component that we have to make goodies and share what we made. So it's very, very, very similar to the five item challenge that, you know, I've seen going around where you send your crafty friend just five things and they have to make something. So it's that, just a little bigger. It's five of five things. So let's see what I got. And if I knew how to stitch videos together, I would put the opening along with the, what am I gonna make? So let's see what we got. Ta-da! Okay, I got some fabric. I did take a quick peek before. Um, so, oh, that's soft. That's very, very soft. Okay, so journal cover. <laughs> it's, it's, this one's kind of a thick one. That's pretty. Okay. Ooh, nice. We got a brown thing going on here. Back, this one's a little thinner, so this one could be a cover or a fabric flip or tag backgrounds. This one's a blue one with some little flowers. I like the inside of it too. I like both sides of that one. Okay. Ooh, this one's kind of flowerish too. Spring. Some greens and a little bit of yellowy orange. Nice. This one's got some blues and yellows. Again, kind of flowery. That's really pretty. Need some birds to put on it or something. Okay, so there's five pieces of fabric. I see five journal covers in the future. <laughs> okay, some scrapbook paper, cart. It's a little cardstock, maybe. Okay, golfing. Oops, spring. I have some spring journals in the works that I would go well with. A little messy, grungy. Another springish one. And very colorful. Science is fun. Great. Five pieces of cardstock. Oh, I thought these were really awesome. <laughs> oh, look, it's so pretty. Look. Okay, it's a shoe, maybe. High heel shoe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tangled. We're tangled. Another shoe. A bike. Another bike. Okay, bicycle. And a bird. Is this like a hummingbird? Okay. Didn't I say this one needed a bird on it? Just that? Okay. Or this one. This one's got little bits of orange in it, and there's orange in there. Nice, nice, nice. I like those. And let's see, over here is five pieces of ribbon scraps. Okay, journal closures, cluster pieces, I don't know yet, and an envelope of a little foldy, foldy pockets. Okay, you're my people, that's very springish, I got a drone for that to go in, hang in there friend, smiles across the miles. You're my people. Some vegetables. I miss your face. Okay. Yay. I got some cool stuff to work with in my five of five item challenge. So that's the unboxing. Now to have a think to see what am I going to make. It's Curiously Michelle again. And I'm here with a flip through of my first project of 
the 5 of 5 item swap and challenge I'm participating in. Hopefully, I figured out how to merge two videos together and you just finished watching the unboxing of my first Happy Mail of 5 of 5 items and here is what I made. A journal! So, um, there was five pieces of fabric in there and this cover uses two of them. Then there was the soda can die cuts. That was, this one was my favorite one. The closure is a tie closure. It was also in the five of five Happy Mail. So I had to dig into my other Happy Mail stash too. So most everything in here is Happy Mail things. People have sent to me in swaps or goodies and ATC swaps and so on. Some of it is, is trash, is junk and I'll try to point it out. So it's approximately five by six inches. It's 40 pages, a sing single signature, three hole pamphlet stitched. It's a soft floppy cover. There's some journaling cards. Both of these were trash that I backed with papers. The sentiments are from a principal, but I already had it cut up and sitting in a little basket and I don't remember where they're from. Uh, but most everything in here, like this bird came in Happy Mail, these came in Happy Mail, the music paper, um, this little birdie, this little birdie there, the tea dyed paper I made recently. This is uh, from a Daphne's Diary magazine. This came in Happy Mail. I dug through my stash of stamps. There's two of these kind of ta these pockets I have a die for. Uh, there's two of these kind of stamps. Oh these birdies. So the birdies, some of the birdies are also a digital. Um, but the tag is packaging. So like a, this was a pack of stickers that had the little piece of cardboard in the back. And so I made a tag from that. The bird is a digital. Everything else is from Happy Mail. This is from Happy Mail, but I believe it's a digital. Here's a little tag that I put in as kind of like a page from Happy Mail. The bird is a digital, as well as the sentiment. Here's a stamp, here's a stamp. Here's one of the pockets that was in the 505. She sent me five folded up origami kind of pockets. So here's one, I made it a flip tuck spot. You can tuck in there and tuck in here. This is from Trash, this is from Trash, this is from Happy Mail, the base. The bird is a printable. Here is a, come on, tag from Happy Mail Trash. So someone sent me the little packaging and the well tail and I put them together. I covered it with tea stain and put a little stamp on the bottom. Little bird and a die cut. This die cut came from Happy Mail. Here's two little tags. Some Easter dyed paper that I made recently. This is some of the fabric that came in the 5 of 5. These stickers came in Happy Mail. The sentiment in the birdie is a digital. This was from a Daphne's diary. This came in Happy Mail, this paper, like uh, old timey advertisements. Here's a couple stamps. A scrapbook paper in the middle from Happy Mail. 
stamp. This is from the Daphne's Diary. This little flower came from Happy Mail. This was cut off of a page that I got in Happy Mail. This was made from like a clothing tag. I ordered, honestly think it was my rash guard bathing suit top thing. This was attached to it, so I added some this stickers from Happy Mail. The sentiment in the bird is from the digital. This, this sticker's from Happy Mail. So that, this stamp is from Happy Mail um, with the piece of the envelope. Uh, this map page is actually from my stash. I go to the library sale when they sell books for 25 cent and I got a map book, uh, an atlas for 25 cent. This is from a Daphne's Diary, a little stamp. I believe this might be paper from a Dollar Tree, those random packs of paper. This washi came in Happy Mail. This eco dyed paper came in Happy Mail. This ticket and this back paper came in Happy Mail. This, it's not a stamp, but it's some kind of sticker that is on international mail that I received once. The cutout magazine page birds are from Happy Mail. This is a envelope, a packaging envelope. This is a piece of fabric, just like a little fabric flip from the 505 swap. This is like sewing, what are they called? The, oh, I know what it's called. I'm forgetting my words. Oh goodness, like the templates. Pattern, a sewing pattern paper. <laughs> It came in Happy Mail as, long as, the, as well as the little flower. There's a, there was a little tag that came in Happy Mail that I put in the middle. I decorated it. Here's little doodads. This is that other tag I made from packaging. Slide in there. This is from Happy Mail. This is from Happy Mail. Everything except for the bird. Tea dyed paper. A sticker, like a washi sticker on a piece of paper. This is from a book that I have in my stash. Of flowers. And this, the base of this tag was one of the five pieces of cardstock and the little piece of the spare fabric. Music paper, a little sticker. This came in Happy Mail, it's just a tag. And this is an ATC I made in 2022 and I thought the colors went well. So I stuffed it in there. So there we are. My first project in my five of five item swap. I have an idea to use this brown fabric that came in the five of five um i don't know when i'm going to get to it i have some other projects that i want to move on to uh, but this is going in my stash and one day i may work on it so thanks for stopping in i appreciate you thank you my internet crafty friend that agreed to swap with me i really appreciate you and I would say your name, but I forgot to ask if that was okay. So if you watch this, you know who you are. I love this little hummingbird. It's so great. Thanks for playing along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.